And how's it going, guys? It's Nolzy here, and I'm back. Sorry for no recent uploads recently. Haha, <laughs> recent, recently. Because uh, I've been ill, I have had a rumbling appendix and sickness and diarrhea. Not that you needed to know, but... Um, yeah, so I wasn't able to get much footage recorded. And, uh... Talking about recording, Tech It With Nolzy is no more. <laughs> Because me, MC Dilbs, Belly Bob, because it's two S's. You should really add a Z on that. But <clears throat> and the Hazard King, aka Jack, um, he doesn't have a channel at the minute. Um, are doing a Tech It multiplayer series on the BKH Gaming channel. You can find that out in the description. The description. Mm, tastes good. So yeah, you can find that in the description if you want to go check that out. Starting from scratch. Um. The episode was a bit boring, but nevertheless, um, you should, you should really, you should really come go check it out and subscribe while you're at it, because, yeah, subscribe. So yeah, anyway, on with the mission, as you can see, uh, this rocket, MC Dilbs, if you're watching, which, if you are awesome, if you're not, then never mind, because I know you don't like KSP that much. Uh, this rocket was based on... MC Dobbs' first moon-capable rocket, but I made it more efficient by adding fuel lines going from the outside tanks to the inside tanks, and I added solar panels because in version 21.21, I I was landing on the moon with this exact rocket, like, practicing, and um, my SES turned off because it ran out of charge, which is really, really annoying. But um, nevertheless, we shall continue to the moon we are in orbit now and um we shall start doing all our maneuver nodes and all that fancy jizz Stiz, shiz shiz that's the word i need shiz uh so yeah we can't i cancel my burn at fifty thousand pretty much every time i go to the moon because um it gets quite high apple apsis. i think that was just like 140,000. i i'm not too sure because it's pretty bad quality in moving in vegas so I missed the encounter there, so we just had to bring it retrograde. And I was trying to, I was just mucking around with the orbit, trying to get the periapsis to about two hundred eighty-four thousand. Or I like it to be within the two hundred eighty thousand because it's a nice periapsis um, to get a good slow descent onto the surface and plant the flag, which uh, you will see later. We had a bit of a glitch with the flag. <laughs> I'm going to probably go play some KSP just after recording this, so hopefully the flag will be on there. Um, but apart from that, we shall nevertheless uh, get in the position for our burn, warp up to our burn. Uh, I was a bit scared because this mo interplanetary missions, well this isn't really planetary, but well it is kind of I guess, um, require a lot of time warping because it's very time consuming. And I wasn't prepared to leave my computer on for like 13 hours just to record. And Fraps would probably go mental at me. Because he'd be like, okay, so uh, this file is like huge. So um, you're, I, you, I probably wouldn't even have that much storage space in my entire computer. But anywho, um, I was a bit worried because sometimes I crash when I time warp. And what I do do, unfortunately, is I do crash when I go through moon encounters. So I have to like tab out and then go back in, which is so annoying. <laughs> Uh, so here we are burning for the moon. But I have a song for this. I have a song. Burn it for the moon. Burn it for the moon. Burn it for the moon. Do, 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 do. Burn it for the moon. Because I've tried it that many times and failed that many times. But being the stupid person I am, I accidentally overshot the uh, maneuver node. So then I had to lug this huge rocket. It looks really fast for you, but actually it took about two minutes for me. Because this was like a 12 minute clip, 15 minute clip, and it's now sped up to 5 minutes, exactly. So, um, burnt retrograde until we got our encounter back. I said we but yep, this is, I'm a bit out of time, really, aren't I? <coughs> never, never mind, never mind. So, yes, um, almost coming up retrograde now burning burning and i will see you guys when it's live commentary nosy goodbye
Okay, guys, welcome back. It's live Nolsey here now. Um, <coughs> <coughs> uh, right, we'll do a bit more warping just to get round to our Apsis of the Perry. I don't want to walk too fast because my game might crash, as usual. Um, I have a little more... F <coughs> bit more fuel than usual as well, which is uh, brilliant. Uh... Normally, I this will be the second time I've landed on the moon. If we well, it won't be the second time I landed. I've landed a billion times. I only just yesterday because that's why this hasn't been up so long. I've been practicing and I've been pretty bad, to say the least. Okay, so we still have that. Is that retrograde or prograde? No, that's prograde. No, it's not. It's retrograde. It's retrograde. Better towards it. Oh my god, it's retrograde. <coughs> um. I've been practicing, and yesterday was the uh, first time I did a successful moon landing and got back. So, let's hope I can do it again. Hopefully on the light side, because I keep ending up landing on the dark side, and it, believe you me, it's so flipping annoying, honestly. It's like, okay, so today we're going to land on the uh, dark side of the moon, whether you like it or not, because... Believe it or not, KSP doesn't like me. Whew. Uh, we will burn a little bit prograde, I think. No, screw it, screw it. Uh, that's happy. I'm happy with that. No, I'm not. Let's burn prograde. <coughs> 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 you try and get on this bit of flatness here. You can't see it, but you see the the like ball in the middle of the moon. I, yeah, just about where that is, because it's flat. It's high up. Should be a little bit easier to land on, hopefully. The reason I had to do the first part live is because it uh, not live because I'm speed. I'm it was sped up in the uh, editor as you saw because um, it would take a long. Um, because of how bad my computer is, I crash when I go through um, mud encounters. It's just this bug I get. I don't know what it is. <laughs> So I have to like tab out of the game and then tab back in and it works. So yeah. Okay. Burn a bit. Burn a bit. Uh, no! Balls! No! This, this sucks! This sucks eggs! I can egg sucker and stakes! Sucks! This sucks so much! Sucks! Sucks eggs! Like an egg sucker on steroids. And that sucks a lot of eggs. Right, okay, we're landing there. Brilliant. Alright, let's go to our uh, retro room marker. I'm going to get rid of this stage. And we're not getting any sunlight, so I need to put out our... Uh, Solar panels, which aren't on here. Are these getting sun? Direct sunlight, direct sunlight, and direct sunlight. You can see we have two struts here connecting the uh, parachute so it doesn't rip off because that normally happens to me because uh, KSP decides to screw me over. Let's try and get a bit more surface area so we slow down a bit quicker. New, 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 is that Noonie? Noonie Kerbin, uh, heading down to the uh, surface of the moon today. Uh, we will warp to just warp a bit because why not? I would quick save at this point. I had to change my key bindings for my record button because <laughs> my record button was F9 because I forgot that yeah um, probably shouldn't have had it on F9 but um, I'm just gonna quick save here actually F5 okay we have quick saved so if I screw it over I can just load the quick save because I'm likely to screw this over because that's what I do a lot on the landings I crash then and if I had of I wouldn't have been too happy okay so now I'm going to slow down just to 300 meters per second I think I should probably stage I think that really might help um. 
do, 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 do. If MC Dills watches this, MC Dills, you probably think I've copied your design. I actually haven't. I have made my own changes. I have added solar panels, struts, and fuel pipes to make it more efficient. So if if you think I've copied your design in MC Dills, I just want to clear it. I haven't. It was based on your idea because you beat me to the moon, and um, yeah, I know your idea worked, so I uh, adapted it. So MC Dills, I'm sorry if uh, if we have any copyright issues. I'm sure we could talk it over at school. But uh, apart from that, um, yep. and it's a completely stock rocket. I decided not to use mods for this. It's completely stock. I didn't want to use any mods because I get called a cheater if I use mods. So I decided, hey, let's do this stock. Because KSP stock is pretty good. I just added mods to make it more realistic. Yes, we are coming down on the light side of the moon. And now we need to blow to 150. I like to be at 50 meters per second. I like to be at 150. Uh, ten, and then I'm about to be like below 100 at 10 meters per second. But uh, I'm getting the hang of the good old moon landings now. I've been practicing for so hard, so hard for so long. And um, I'm gonna go over this. And this rocket is just brilliant. It's so fuel efficient. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable fuel efficient rocket. Da 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 da. I'm gonna shut up now. Because I'm coming down on the light side of the moon for once. Because, like, we'll warp to 20,000 now. No, we won't. But we will go to 100 meters per second now. And this engine is so efficient. And, uh, where's my other fuel tank? Oh, yeah, and MC Dubs, I also added a battery, so, yeah. Because in point twenty one, the SAS units use. Oh God, I've gone down far too slow here. <sniffs> Pretty good. Fifteen thousand will go to now, lads and ladies, if you're watching. Oh Jesus! So to fifty meters per second here, I think. And I'm a bit concerned about that fuel gauge dropping a bit too fast for my liking that's good enough I think actually yeah we will drop to 50 oh well, oh god 50 we need to bring this up oh we've gone a bit below but hey ho ah it runs yay made a rhyme I'm a poet and I didn't know it Look at that beautiful surface. <laughs> Screenshot. <coughs> Just take it back down to 50 again. Don't know why I went full throttle there. Didn't really need to, but you know. You do only live once. Yeah, I'm getting really concerned about that fuel gauge, actually. Um, watching you, Sonny Jim. <coughs> Alright, we'll walk to 5,000. Being concerned. Oh well, uh, yeah, we're coming down far too fast. Go to thirty meters a second, I think. Ooh, me slow it down a bit. This is the country. No, I can't do that. I can't remember what show that's off actually. There was this show and it was like, Oi, city boy, slow down. This is the country. Something stupid like that. I can't remember the show, but my dad does a really good impression of it. I don't because not very good at impressions and you can't warp above one when you're below yeah see when you get below 5,000 it's like no 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 you're not warpy and we're gonna go to 10 meters a second because we're kind of really low on the ground now if I don't if I land on a hill again I always land on hills and it like screws me over we're not a perfect landing speed yet but we will be shortly. Oh, I'm so tense. Quick save, quick save. Oh, cannot save while about to crash. Thanks for your support, KSP. Screw you. How am I about to crash? I'm gonna flipping land, mate. I'm gonna flipping land, mate. Okay, 
Look at this precision landing. I'm gonna come down a flipping hill again. And I'm hovering. Because that's the only way to go. Just hover. Yeah, ain't it? You need bam. Apparently you need to be below you need to be below five meters a uh, second when landing on the moon. So we will try and stay a bit below that. And this is looking pretty good. Pretty good. Bit of bounce there. Oh. Touchdown! And we're falling over! And we flipping crashed! No! I flipping stuff! Thank you now! Flipping out! Sorry about that. Um, a bit of a rage quit there. Sorry, guys. <coughs> um, okay, that was awkward. Bit of a rage quit there. Sorry. Um, God, I've never raged like that before. It's weird. Should stage probably. I'll go down to 300 here. Oh, God. <coughs> Thank God for quick saves. I love you, quick saves. I'm so glad I quick saved because if I hadn't quick saved, I'd have screwed over. Be like, oh, for God's sake. <coughs> I was actually thinking of rage quit there. I was like, oh yeah, rage I'm gonna rage quit because I'm really pissed off. And then I was like, oh yeah, I sensibly quick saved when I'm warping to 50,000. Oh, 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 crap, 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 crappity crap. We now have to go to 150 meters per, per, per second. That, that was a perfect I'm flipping out screwed over by the flipping terrain that this I should have landed I should have done it if I'd have got KSP earlier the moon was so much easier to land on because it was so much flatter but now it's full of craters so it's a lot a lot harder and you have to and uh, it's really hard to land on obviously not for some people but for me it is being the KSP not the best at KSP that Minmus is my next target after this. <laughs> Obviously, that won't be my next episode. I don't know what I'm going to do next episode. But, uh... Just trying to think of ideas. But, um... I know I've got my sights set on Minmus. Currently, I'm going to warp to 15,000 and I'm shaking because I'm cold. Now we shall burn until we're at 50 meters per second. <laughs> so it's a very controllable altitude. Well, 60, either way. I always end up landing on flipping. Um. Uh, hills. I'm 
Is that how it unlocked? Like such a low terrain detail? It's like looks so horrible. Oh god, we're coming in a bit too fast here. Perfect. If anyone's got any advice for landing on the moon, I would love to hear it because I'm not the best at interplanetary powered landings yet. But um, if anyone's got any advice, I'd love to hear it. It'd be really helpful if you could give me some of your tips. <coughs> Just post them in the comment section. I might move on to planes in the next episode. I might do some stuff with planes. I've got some cool mods which put like missiles in and stuff, so that's really good. Okay, this looks like it could go better. Fuel situation's not very good though. We're coming close now. So to We need to start going up again then. Can I, Nolsey, successfully land on the moon and return home? Probably not, but I shall try. Oh, I've also heard. Yes, we're down. We're down. We're down. Don't, don't. We have touched down. We'll just put brakes on just in case. Oh, flipping out! I'm shaking. I'm flipping, shaking. Honestly. Ooh. We have done it, people. I have such Kerbal Kind has landed on the moon. Yes, but it's getting there. EVA Nuni Kerbin, we probably should have handed this mission to Jeb, but who are oh well. Nuni was hired for this purpose. Past the poodle engine, there we go. Okay, I've come prepared with a speech. Kerbal Kind has attempted this for many years. It is our attempt, and I am the executioner of that. We have landed on the moon. Jump! Okay, don't jump yet. Jump. I love jumping on the moon. I can't wait to go to Minmus because the gravity is so low, you can jump really high. Right, we shall plant the flag here. And I will call this New Horizons, this base. And that shall also be the episode name. New Horizons. Kerbal Kind has finally set foot on uh, another world this site is dedicated to every member of the VSP and new knee cur man Okay, screenshot time. Okay, face this way, face this way, dude. F2. F1. 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 So many screenshots. Turn around. F1. That's the thumbnail. Is that. Right, okay, time to get back to your rocket and let's go home. Oh, 
Well done, Mooney. You've landed on another world. Kind of. Okay, right, jump. Jump. F, grab. Yeah. For the win. <laughs> he's uh, he's an acrobat. He uh, studied um, sports science at uh, Kerbal College. And um, he... Uh, well, he probably did. And uh, he, he uh, he's a professional gymnast. It's the only reason they sent him here, because he's a gymnast and they wanted to see what the uh, gravity effects were like, uh, because he's like the best Kerbal gymnast. They were like, okay, Nuni, we're sending you. <laughs> okay, now, apparently it's best to be on the retrograde side of the moon. Do you know what? Screw it, we'll just, we'll just keep him here. Can you guys see uh, Kevin? Oh, yeah. Three. We have lift off, and we will go straight retrograde. Well, prograde, but, you know. Wait, shouldn't we be going the other way? Meh, yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go straight over. <laughs> either, either way, we're going to get Kerbin escape. So what does it matter? Let's just hope we have enough fuel to uh, get Jeb home. Oh yeah, it's dropping. It's barely dropping. It's like, yeah, okay, let's do this. Should be able to get into orbit pretty easy. But. <laughs> okay, Jeb. Uh, Noonie. It's normally Jeb, but Noonie. You're coming home. Noonie's coming home. Noonie's coming home. We we have had one failed attempt. We rage quit. I nearly rage quit, but I'm glad I didn't because we had touchdown. <laughs> We're traveling so fast; it's unbelievable. We will get into orbit hopefully, and we will get a curb. We will get a Moona escape. Moon escape, and we will go home with that Moon escape hopefully. So yeah. Well, look, should probably uh, it's Ipto from last episode. I should probably get him on a escape route out of the Kerbal system. I'm just going to leave it. Wait, is that going in? Yeah, it is. We'll just continue burning. And then we can just go straight home, can't we? Wait, is that... Wait until the periapsis goes. Okay, guys, uh, we're going back into. Post commentary now. <laughs> okay, that's all good. Why can't I select? Luna. No, that's... Why can't I... Got space center. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, I'm going to stop, uh, well, I'm going to carry on recording, obviously, but, um, they all said I could, I could never do it again, but I've proved them wrong. I'm going back into post commentary now, and I will, uh, see you in Kerbin's atmosphere, because I'm probably going to cut out that, but, actually, no, we'll just go back into live commentary, what's the point? So, re-entry will be live, um, Lie. Look at that. Fly. Um, re-entry will be live. So I will see you guys during re-entry. Re-entry, that is. Um, see you guys in about, well, less than a second, I guess. <laughs> yes. 
uh, see you in atmosphere. Well, I'll, I'll go when this is done because I might crash. Zero frames per second for the win. Welcome back. Here we are, about to re-enter. Travelling uh, too fast. Uh, probably we will just... Does this help us slow down? No, it doesn't. I thought it did. Uh, we'll just time walk by about two, just so we get down into... Yep, we're in the atmosphere now. Yep, we're in the atmosphere. Well, we should start slowing down in a second. Any second now, we'll start slowing down. Any second now. En any second now, we should start slowing down. Uh, any se... Come on. So, so, uh... Uh, might want to start slowing down soon. All oh, right, we're not in thick enough air yet. Duh! Stupid nosy. God, he's so stupid. It's the time I tried to like. Yes, we're slowing down. It's like the time I tried to land on the moon with parachutes. I was a noob. Considering I would like to do science, maybe work for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory at NASA. Um, if they said you're trying to plan a mission to the moon, and I decided to put parachute. Holy crap! Look at the G-force. He is going to die. No, he's not. Don't panic. Newbury is going to live. He's going to live. He's going to live. See it? We're, uh, yeah, we're slowing down like mad. Look, the G-forces are dropping. Everything's going to plan. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. We're, st we're like... We're, we're still at the speed of sound. We're miles past it. Well, we're not anymore. Because we are now... Subsonic. We are subsonic, people. We are no longer breaking the speed of sound. We are under Mach 1. And the parachute shall deploy, hopefully under 100 meters per second. And then I will have done two successful missions to the moon in my Korean KSP. Go, Nolsey! Yeah, Nolsey rules. Well, he doesn't, because there's a lot, of, a lot of people at KSP that are a lot better than him. Probably deploy them about 3,000. To break. Yes! Ah! Parachutes are deploying. We are slowing down like mad. They shouldn't, like, go yet. Under 100 meters per second. Well, we should be. We're under 100 meters per second, which is good for when they deploy. Which is now. And we're saved. Get in there. We have done a successful mission to the moon. Well, Nooney has, anyway. A successful mission. Where is the moon? Where is the moon? Come here, little moon. I have landed. I am. I, I I. feel good at KSP. I've done two successful missions to the moon now. Minmus is my next target. Obviously, that won't be next episode. I'll do a full scale mission to uh, Minmus. And then. Duna. Duna and Eve and. Lath is my. I really want to go to Lath, but I'm not good enough yet. Um, I can't believe it. Yes, yes, biatches, we've been to the moon, been to the moon, we've been to the moon, and we got back safely. Well, we should have just speed up a bit. I don't want to go too fast in case I hit the ground at like four time warp and the ship blows up. And we have touchdown! Yeah, baby! Get out! Yes! We have successfully landed on the moon. The Ventus Space Program has set put set foot set foot aboard another aboard atop another planet. We have claimed the moon. New Horizons is the flag on the moon, dedicated to the one and only Nooney Kerman. This is an incredible day for Ventus Space Program. I would like to thank every single person. I'm sorry, I'm getting too hyper about this. I'm sorry, I'm I I'm because I'm quite bad at KSP. I just love the fact of successfully landing on the moon. <laughs> um, I want to thank every one of my viewers, every one of my subscribers, everyone who supported me. Through I'm joking. I'm joking. Wow, I, I I do thank my subscribers and stuff for watching and viewers. Uh, if you are a viewer.
will crash there. If you are a viewer. <laughs> yep, he's back. He's safe. Wait, what? Uh, where's the flag? Um. Uh, wh where's the flag? What? Um. Okay, so there's no flag on the moon. What? What? Wait, what? How can there be no flag? What? This is this is just weird. Um. Okay, this is just so weird. Okay, I I don't care that there's no flag. We landed on the moon. Everyone watched, and you all got you guys all saw. Thank you for watching, guys. I don't know what the heck is going on right now, but I am actually just casually going to put Ipto in another interplanetary orbit because it's not in one at the minute. Um, sorry, someone texted me. <laughs> and we ha don't, don't have any fuel to put it in another orbit. Do we, wait, do we have RCS? Don't have RCS. Okay, we're going to have to recover that somehow. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on now, um, but you guys all saw that. So, um... I'd like to thank every one of you. I don't know what's going on. I think it's a bug. But you all know I landed. So um, thank you for watching, guys. It's been great to edit. Um, well, to edit? I haven't even edited it yet. Well, I have, because you're watching it after I've edited it. But at the time of recording this, I haven't edited it. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll reload game. Hopefully it will be on there. It's just some sort of bug. But thanks for watching, guys. And goodbye. Oh, hold on, I'll just wait till it's finished loading because it might crash.